Hi, my name is Casey Chu, and this is work with Kentaro Minami and Kenji Fukumizu. The goal of Bayesian inference is to compute the posterior distribution. In this work, we're going to represent the posterior distribution by this p of x. Unfortunately, most of the time, it's difficult to compute the posterior directly, which is why we need to resort to vari variational methods that approximate this p of x with another distribution, q of x. Two such methods are Stein variational gradient descent, or SVGD, and black box variational inference, or BBVI. Our work shows that these two methods are actually equivalent in the sense that they generate the same sequence of approximate posteriors. To see this, let's first look at SVGD. In SVGD, we approximate the posterior with particles, x1 through xn, and they undergo the dynamics described by this ODE. And the key is this kernel function that describes how one particle affects another particle's dynamics. In BBVI, we parameterize the distribution, the approximate posterior, with parameters phi, and the parameters undergo gradient ascent on this elbow objective. So how is it that these two methods are equivalent when one deals with particles and one deals with parameters? Well, it turns out that in BBVI, one common method is called the reparameterization trick. That's when we want to sample from our approximate posterior. And we do so by first sampling from a fixed distribution, omega, and running that sample through another function, f of phi, a deterministic function, f phi. And the output of that is our ultimate sample. For example, say we want to sample from this uh, normal distribution parameterized by mu and sigma. Well, what we can do is first sample from this fixed unit Gaussian and then run that sample through the function mu plus sigma times epsilon. And the result of that is the sample from the normal distribution. What we've done by doing this is actually introduce particles into the picture because this, uh, the output of this function can be thought of as a particle. And when we compute what happens to this particle under the dynamics of gradient ascent, it turns out that using the chain rule, we find that the particles satisfy this ODE, and this ODE is exactly the SVGD dynamics that we saw earlier, where the kernel K is given by this neural tangent kernel. For example, we find that BBVI with a Gaussian variational family is actually equivalent to SVGD with this polynomial kernel. To confirm this, we tried to fit a approximate posterior to this true posterior given in red, this multimodal uh, 2D distribution given in red. At the top, we're running BBVI, fitting this Gaussian distribution. And at the bottom, we have SVGD with the polynomial kernel in the previous slide. And we have these particles, but, what we, but we actually fit this Gaussian to it so we can more easily compare the two trajectories. And as you can see, as the algorithms proceed, the approximate posteriors returned by each method actually match each other at each iteration, which confirms our finding that these two methods are actually equivalent. So what's actually going on here kind of under the hood? Well, it turns out that these SVGD BBVI dynamics that we've derived is actually a natural generalization of something called Wasserstein gradient flow. And we're calling this natural generalization kernel gradient flow. To find out more about this perspective, check out our paper at this link or using this QR code. And thank you so much for listening.